Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm going to be talking about nails. And I'm Rayanne. I missed that part. So, this is a 2017 movie directed by Dennis Bartok. The film opens with our main character, Dana, who is a track coach. Jogging along is unfortunately the victim of a hit and run accident and then does wake up paralyzed, bed bound, and stuck to heal in a hospital that she is visually uncomfortable to be in. So, not long after regaining consciousness, she starts feeling an evil presence that she learns to be Nails, who is a former nurse of the hospital that is set on tormenting her by using different ways of just intimidation, uh, turning off her breathing machine because she has a trach, she's unable to breathe on her own for prolonged periods of time, we find out. So, while all this is going on, she's also struggling, struggling to regain control of her body, also trying to convince everyone around her that there is something after her, and dealing with a drifting relationship between herself and her husband. So what did I like about this movie? I really enjoyed the character of the CNA who would talk to Dana. His name was Trevor. He was played by Ross Noble, who I love. I love Stitches. Uh, he was seemingly the only person that was genuinely sympathetic to how she felt and the things that she felt were going on around her. Everyone else just kind of dismissed her and assumed that because she's struggling so much physically, she's got to be struggling mentally, which isn't fair. I did like the concept because Dana was paralyzed because she is on a ventilator. She couldn't talk so much. So rather than having the camera pan around her and do a monologue of a voice in her head, they'd given her a keyboard and some special software. So she's alone and she's typing, you know, maybe what someone would say to themselves when they're alone. And I thought that was a better way to do it. Because, you know, if it was someone that could speak, they'd be sitting there going, oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on around here. Not just thinking it in their head. So that was neat. My dislikes. I felt like the actual creature that was Nails looked kind of like an afterthought. They didn't put as much time as I would have put into it. It's kind of lackluster and not really that scary. The demon face that kept happening was horrible. It just hands down horrible. Stop doing that, please. It's bad. The twist that was thrown in with the relation of Dana to this particular hospital seemed kind of like, oh, well, we should throw this in too. There was never any mention of it until it really got into the movie. And at that point I was just kind of like, eh, I just don't care. I'm sorry. And the freaking jump scares. Could you not? Could you just stop with the jump scares? They are cheap AF. I hate them. Stop it, please. So, I give this movie a 1.5 out of 5 because I hated it, but also because I've actually seen way worse, which, I mean, I have an extensive movie collection, and at one point I was just buying movies when Hollywood Video was closing based on what the covers looked like, so that's, it's really not saying that much. Like, I've seen a lot of bad movies, and your movie's still bad. No offense. Sorry. I found this on Netflix. It might still be on Netflix. I don't really recommend watching it though. I just, I really hated the ending in particular. And I, after a while, I couldn't really feel anything for any character because I was so irritated with how the movie was going. But, you know, everyone has a different opinion. So if you want to watch it, go right ahead. Uh, if you could like the video if you did enjoy it if you want to leave some comments down below if you've seen this movie Let me know what you thought maybe give me a little more insight on something. I missed it was really hard to pay attention to sorry If you could subscribe to the channel hit the bell for more notifications every time I upload a video If you want to follow me on Twitter, please do so at Ray animator and on Facebook at Ray animator reviews and I still wouldn't watch this movie, but you do you, boo-boo.